Aisha sacrificed herself for the queen, discovering the Enchantix's power, and became a stronger magic fairy. And welcome, welcome to Espero, the most enchanted kingdom in the entire magic dimension, the perfect resort for your perfect holiday. What's this? Huh? It's clouding up. <gasps> Impossible. There are no clouds here. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Valtor. But you can call him Master. <laughs> <gasps> I can't believe I didn't get my homework finished. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Thank goodness, we made it back safe and sound. Ahem. There you are, young ladies. You have some explaining to do about your unauthorized absence. Sorry, yes, I know, Miss Griselda, but first, Aisha needs help. Oh. Oh. Huh? Come in, Stella. You're just in time to see some magic at work. <gasps> hey, what's happened to Aisha? Something really terrible, yet something truly wonderful. Aisha has been blinded by Valtor's evil spell, but she has also achieved her final fairy form. She is now an Enchantix. Valtor's spell is powerful, but you are now strong enough to break it, Aisha. You have the power of the fairy dust. It's a magic energy in your new wings. You can feel it if you concentrate. You should be able to feel it all around you now, and you don't need your eyes to see it. I 
can see! I can see! <laughs> the fairy dust can break through most dark spells. It's one of the new powers you have as an enchantix. Enchantix! That's awesome! <clears throat> Young ladies! Oh. Here goes. I really hate to spoil this lovely moment, but there is still the matter of disciplinary action. As punishment for leaving school without permission and trying to deceive me by having Miss Stella and the Pixies impersonate you, you are each assigned to work in the restricted section of the school library to reorganize the entire collection of old reference books for Miss Barbatea. And that's without using magic, of course. Your detention will last until all the books are neatly shelved, is that clear? Mm. Nice going. I did my best, you guys, but things just got out of control. Oh, you think so? Mm. Aisha, wait up! Bloom, looks like you've got company. Huh? Hey, Bloom. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> what are you doing oh. here? <laughs> I was just on my way back to Red Fountain and I really wanted to see you. I heard you guys saw some real action on Andros. I wanted to make sure you were okay, and I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Of course. What do you want to ask me, Skye? Well, as you know, I'm the Prince of Heraklion, and this weekend is my kingdom's 1,000th anniversary, and I'd really like you to come to the party so I can introduce you to, well, everyone. Introduce me to everyone? That's a lot of people. You see, I want all of them to know just how important you are to me. That is, if it's okay <laughs> with... <laughs> So, that's a yes? Absolutely! And nothing in the whole world will keep me from being at your party. Well, actually, there is one thing. Griselda gave us detention. Can you believe it? So these are the enchanted codes of a sparrow. Somehow I pictured them differently. You'd think they'd have a safer place to store the magic knowledge of an entire world. You're talking to yourself, Icy. He's obviously not listening. <sighs> that totally doesn't work for me. Hey, what's up with you? We just made off with all of a sparrow's magic. Add that to what you took from Solaria and Andros, and we're on a roll! But instead of being happy, instead of being excited, instead of being grateful to me and my sisters, you just stare and stare and stare at her. Come on, really, what's so crazy interesting about Bloom? I think maybe he's got a crush on her. I'm studying her. Bloom is an enemy we do not want to underestimate. You three of all people should know that. <sighs> We need to get rid of her before she causes any more trouble. And I believe that party on Heraklion will be the perfect place to do it. I just had a great idea. Girls, check out my new bag. I've never What's seen happening? that before. Thank you all for coming together on such short notice. I have some news of great importance. What's going on? What's with the magic dome above the school? Are we in trouble? I hope it's nothing serious. I know, I hope so too, but look at her face, you guys. I'm pretty sure she's about to give us some bad news. <gasps> My dear girls, I have just learned that the evil sorcerer of Valtor has launched an attack against the peaceful world of Asperia. What? Not again. Everyone, please listen. All of Asperia's most precious magic secrets have fallen into Valtor's hands. This pattern of attack is of great concern to us, because it means that sooner or later, Althea will become a target. Our school is the repository for many of the great spells, so the other teachers and I have created a special magical dome over the school's premises. This dome will act as a protective barrier. For your safety, and until Valtor is no longer a threat, no one is permitted to enter or leave the school without special authorization. And that can only be issued by Griselda. Now we'll never be able to get out of here. You wouldn't be able to anyway, young lady. Or did you forget about your detention? I'll see you in the library in ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> Some 
Some of you snuck off campus and others lied about it. Now all of you will have the chance to think about what you've done while you organize the volumes of the restricted area. Of course, you are confined to campus until everything is in perfect order. Remember, no magic allowed. They're hmm. all yours, Miss Barbatea. The restricted section is extremely disorganized. These books think they own the place so they can get themselves into quite a mess. Some of them are very bad-tempered indeed. These are books of curses. I would handle them with great care if I were you. Huh? Griselda huh? really came down hard on us. We're gonna be here forever. That's not quite true. According to my calculations, working at this pace, we should be done by next Tuesday. Fantastic. Absolutely no way to party on Arachleon. Oh, no. Come on, girls, let's not give up. Saturday is Sky's party, and I, for one, don't intend on letting Blue miss but it. But Saturday's tomorrow. It's impossible to get this done without using magic. Unless... Unless what? Unless it's not our magic we use. If the books were to use their own magic, that wouldn't be breaking Griselda's rules. I predict failure is highly probable. It's more than just probable, it's certain. Yes, Stella, bad idea. Put the book down, it's still cheating. Well, we're just going to open the book. We're not doing anything ourselves. Hey, here's one. There's a nice little genie guy inside this one. We just disturb my rest. <laughs> ah! Oops! I must have misread the title! Uh, oh! <laughs> nice going, Stell. I gotta say, you really outdone yourself this time. <gasps> Aisha, get the pixies to safety and make sure no teachers are heading this way. No problem. Come on, let's go, guys. Let's get to it. Magic Winks! Protect the books! Everyone else, let's go! Come on, Winx! Time to work off some stress! Convergent! Digital Barrier! those. Tonight, Princess Diaspro, Arachleon is celebrating. <gasps> There's nothing for me to celebrate. <sighs> and take that dress away. I don't want to see it. But I thought you planned to wear it at tomorrow's millennium party at the royal palace. It's the event of the season you must attend. That stupid Sky is bringing his precious little fairy bloom. I will not just go to be on the sidelines. Now go, get out. Go, I want to be alone. <gasps> Sky. 
sky thinks that Bloom is prettier than me. That's just ridiculous. <gasps> Who are you? How did you get in there? What are you doing here? Poor Diaspro. I know how you feel. Don't be afraid. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Ugh. Get out of my room now! Get out of here or I'll call the guards! That would be a mistake. I can give you what you want. I can help you fulfill your dream and get rid of Bloom forever. Look at this. <gasps> hey, Bloom! So what's Sky's party gonna be like? Yeah! Tell us! Tell us! Well, all I can think about is how intimidating it's going to be. I just hope I don't do something really dumb. Come on, you and Skye will be side by side, all regal and total young Hollywood glam. If she says so, it's got to be true. He'll take you up to one of the royal palace balconies overlooking the courtyard. Oh, I like it. Down below, the masses will be jockeying for a better view. The press will be fighting for that front page shot. All eyes will be on you. <sighs> Ugh, that doesn't reassure me at all. I won't know what to do, I won't know what to say, I... Bloom, you face much bigger things, so don't worry. Yeah, and we'll teach you how to be a perfect princess in no time. I hope so. Remember the last time I was on Arachleon? I made a total fool of myself. Oh, trust <laughs> us. <laughs> like a princess, I'll be such a new Thank you, Your Majesty. The honor is mine. You know, I think you've got it. But there's still one more thing. The royal look. What? True nobility can be conveyed with a simple glance. Now, chin up and out, eyes narrowed, eyebrows arched, nostrils slightly flared. How's this? <gasps> huh? So girls, what do you think? Yeah, give the look and curtsy. <sighs> oh, oh, <gasps> uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, I think it's Trey, excellent. Congratulations, Bloom, you're gonna knock him dead. I don't want to spoil the party, but your crash course for princesses has really slowed us down. We are seriously behind schedule. All right, don't panic. Bloom will still make it to her party because I have another great idea. Don't you think the last one was enough? This is different. It will work. We'll turn the pixies into copies of us again and... Stella! Stella! You've already done so much for me, Stella. I think right now we should all just work really hard. I know we're a little behind, but if we do our best, we can finish in time without using tricks or magic. All we have to do is believe we can do it. We've completed the inspection of the library, and I must admit, I'm very impressed. Well then, I think it's only fair to grant permission to all of you to visit Arachleon. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> if you don't want to be late, you'd better get ready. Except for you, Bloom, dear. But Miss Farragonda... If you don't mind, I'd like a word with you before you leave. I want to tell you something that I've kept a secret for a very long time. But now it's important that you know. What? More secrets? I thought you told me everything. Not this. The time just wasn't right before. This is the story of a battle that took place a very long time ago. What you see here is the Company of Light in their greatest battle, the battle against Valtor. Valtor was no ordinary sorcerer. When the great dragon created the universe, a small spark of its flame fell into the darkness. 
The darkness then mixed with the power of the flame. And that's when the three ancient witches found it. The three ancient witches? You mean the ancestors of the Trix? Exactly. They molded that flame into the shape of a man and called him Valtor. They brought him up, and when he was old enough, they sent him to conquer all the magical dimensions. But what about these warriors? Who was the Company of Light? A brave order, the best of the heroes, the fairies, and the sorcerers, founded by Marion and Oritel, your birth parents. They formed the Company of Light to fight the ancient witches, right? Yes, and when the witches destroyed Domino, your parents thought you had been destroyed also. That's when they went after Valtor with everything they had. Wait, how do you know all this? Because I was a member of the Company of Light with Griffin and Saladin. To drive back the forces of evil, we challenged Valtor together. So what happened next? Did you trap him in the Omega Dimension? Your parents did. The rest of us were unconscious, and they used the last of their strength to seal Valtor away. But the price was high. Marion and Oratel never returned from that battle. But if no one really saw what happened to my birth parents, do you think it could be possible? What, dear? That... that my parents might still be alive somewhere. Bloom, I can't say. Nobody can. Nobody except Valtor. He was the last one to see my parents. He knows the answer. Bloom, be careful. This is why I told you about this. Valtor is a truly wicked creature. If he finds out who you are, he will most surely come after you and take his revenge. Now, Bloom knows that Valtor is her enemy. But what will his next move be? The Winks go to Arachleon, where Sky will make his big announcement. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're